Hi, so a couple things came in that I ordered and also a couple things that I just bought. So yeah. Um, this is a Sailor Moon mechanical pencil. Um, it I bought it from Etsy and it's actually, uh, it came from Japan um, and they were reselling it um, because it was, um, this didn't come to America, it was from the 20th anniversary collection. Cute this is, I'm so in love with it. So yeah, basically, I couldn't figure it out before, but basically you click on it, the, the side, the, and then that's how you get the pencil out. And then this is how it writes the pencil one, obviously. Um, just regular pencil. And I'm so in love with it. The cutest pencil I own. <laughs> came in, I got them from Go Jane. Um, they're just plain black um, booties. Um, plain black heeled booties. Um, I'm kind of ex obsessed with these kind of shoes. I actually have a red one two from Old Navy and I thought I'd get black one too. I also have gray ones um, but they're not suede. Um, but the red and the black are suede obviously. As you know I got I recently bought uh, an electric wax melter so I bought some wax tarts from Etsy. I've been looking at Etsy a lot lately obviously. Um, so here is what I got. I got it from the Etsy store frost beard and candles too and I think little tea lights um, and I, th I I thought I'd save this because this was on the box that it came with and it's so cute I love the handwriting um, that my name's in and then it says thank you so much frost beard studio and I just love it I thought I'd keep it um, this one is um, wizardy buttery drink which is basically another way of saying butter beer without you know saying butterbeer <laughs> because of copyrights um i also got this is my favorite one that i've smelt i haven't burnt it yet but it smells good just by itself it is reading at the cafe which basically smells like a mocha anything mocha yeah it smells so good um i also got two love um which is um from based off the princess bread it smells like um wedding cake i believe and then i also got pemberley gardens which i believe it smells like a like a rose garden and herbs or something like that just picked these up um at cvs um i saw that these were not pretty popular but i i was kind of interested in them and they're inexpensive these are two for three dollars um, so I had to get two. These pens, um, they're the Big Crystal Extra Bold. Um, so I got two. Um, and what's interesting, I know I'm used to the black ones, but I've never seen the colorful ones. And so I, I forget who YouTube I saw it on, but I was like, I have to get those if I see them. And I saw them at CVS and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get them. And because they, they write in color they're not just the black so I thought I'd sample some of them so this is like the emerald green like a darker green it's purple and that's a pink I think yeah not really showing up true to color but yeah this thing is this masking sticker set from Amazon so I've seen a lot of people use these but I've seen them in like a paper pouch I've never seen them in this tin I think they're the same thing because um, it looks familiar. I've seen the, this is like the cover, this isn't a sticker. And then these are the stickers. So they come, there's 27 sheets of different colors. So that's cool. Um, I need to be careful and not cut myself. But this is a mini, like, um, paper trimming guillotine. I'm trying not to like, cut myself, but yeah. Um, so, because I will be making my own um, inserts and um, stuff like that so this will really help me to trim them down <laughs> I also got these adhe self adhesive laminating sheets these are 50 um, but they only make like two sided um, 25 like they make 25 because you need to use two for one each side thing um, technically I bought this 
in February, I guess, or whenever tickets for Boys of Summer Tour were released. Because um, I was, I did buy a VIP pack um, with meet and greet. Um, and this came with it. I actually forgot that they were going to send me a, um, not free, a signed poster. I don't know if you can see their signatures on there. Yep. So yeah, this is just a signed Fall Out Boy poster um, for the Boys Boys of Summer tour. Kind of huge. I might have to stand in the like go further back to show you it. But um, I don't know if you can see my other One Direction poster. It's kind of old, and this is not even about Zayn or anything. <laughs> I think that's their very first um, photo shoot from when like in 2010. I'm pretty sure Harry's still 16 in that picture and I just wanted a more updated poster. I wanted a new One Direction poster. This doesn't have Zayn in it but I am going to be printing out some pictures from the four photo shoot and putting it up on my wall. Um, I, I didn't, <laughs> I just wanted to put out a disclaimer, I didn't want a new poster just because Zayn left. I wanted one because this is literally the oldest photo shoot that they have. I'm pretty sure this is their first photo shoot fresh out of the X Factor. So yeah, that's why I wanted a new poster. I kind of love this poster actually because Nile looks incredibly cute. You're just gonna close up on Nile. Nile looks incredibly cute. And I just like the them sitting on stools kind of thing. But also because Naya looks really cute. I needed poster paper, poster board, because um, I'm going to see Five Seconds of Summer. So I picked this bright pink poster board. I'm not gonna bring this, I'm gonna cut this down because I know that you probably, if you're in the third row, you can't hold up a huge sign. Um, I am already gonna be in the third row, so I know that they'll see me. So I'm just gonna probably cut this in half or something like this so that, you know, they see me, it's bright pink. I have organizers, I guess they're like for dorms, but I am organizing my room and um, these would really help me to organize. I don't know, they were a dollar each, obviously. This one is like a big one that has two and then this one is three. A basic thing I got is glue, um, just cause I'm gonna be making my own dividers and stuff like that. And I know, I, you, and I know that you need glue so that they're back to back and stuff like that. But just in general, I need glue tape. I don't think, I'm not sure if these are washi tapes, but they are, whatever they are, they're decoration tape. It's like a multicolor um, polka dot. And then this one is just hearts. These colorful kind of, they're also like foamy, not foamy, but they're kind of, they're, they're kind of 3D-ish. Um, those, those pressy, you can press on them. Um, stickers um, and they're like holographic um, they're just like these there's clouds lots of hot air balloons a rainbow a sun I thought this was gonna be cute there are sets of just um, stars um, there's 96 of them I don't think I'm gonna be using 96 stars but I think you know they're simple enough that you can just decorate with them I can't believe I bought this, but it was for a dollar, and at first I wasn't going to buy it. One Direction sticker pack. It's a collector, collector's edition sticker pack. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm One Direction trash. They have these. I think they're called air stickers. Because I guess they're like bubbly. Um, so yeah. Nile. 3D stickers. So they have a picture of the boy. Uh, let me see if I can get it. And then it says, I heart Nile, which is true. I do heart Nile. Individual, just regular stickers of each boy. So there's Nile. Really cheesy ones, but I think they would be fun to decorate with. And then there's Nile. I love this baby picture of Nile. Like, not baby, but you know, like 2010 fetus picture of Nile playing the guitar. It's like my favorite fetus Nile, like 2010 photo shoot picture gigantic group picture of obviously I cannot decorate a page with this um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this <laughs> because like it's really old but I'll figure it out <laughs> car sticker 
I'm not gonna put this on my car because I would probably embarrass myself. <laughs> um, but it's cute. I'll, f I'll find a place to put it. Ceremonial matcha tea. Um, this was the first matcha I tried as a tea latte and it was amazing because this is just regular matcha like there's no flavoring to it and it's just so good the glow glitter and gold I love glitter and gold it is awesome a mighty Aphrodite as a tin chocolate macaroon as a tin I bought two of these um, ground grippers non skid pads um, I know this is not a beauty product, but um, I got these because for my new fall boots, I have these cleansing cloths. Um, I'm completely okay with just getting um, Harman brand cleansing cloths, face like cloths, um, because I don't know, they work pretty well. I've been using them. They haven't done anything bad and they're cheaper than the, these are supposed to be like the Garnier Nutrice um, wet cleansing towels. I just use these when um, I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to wash my face at night. <laughs> Elf mineral infused face primer because I ran out of face primer. Shea Moisture African Black Soap Body Wash. Um, yeah, this is just my body wash and I ran out and so I bought a new one. This one is Quantum's Riveting Reds because I'm going to re-dye my hair red. Actually, I technically still is red. I just faded a lot. I haven't dyed it since May. Um, but yeah, Quantum Riveting Red uh, Conditioner because I still have shampoo. Sally Hansen's Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil because I ran out of my cuticle oil, um, which was from Julep when I used to be um, part of their Julep monthly... I, Julep Maven, uh, that was a long time ago, so you can tell how long that lasted. So now I finally needed a new cuticle oil. I'm running out of um, eyebrow gel, so I bought a new e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I ran out of this too, like I said. Everything is pretty much just replacing things I ran out. Um, this is Neutrogena's Body Clear Body Spray. It's Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, uh, face powder I, I it like I lost the words for a second so this is Rimmel stay matte face powder because I'm running out of that too and this is in sandstorm I got these pencils yes they're still in their wrappings um, from Amazon um, they're actually from China um, they they were four five dollars there's eight of them but I already have two of them in my pencil case in my backpack and I'm too lazy to get them out but um, they're only four dollars for eight of them, and they're so pretty. And there's like they come with a variety of colors, of patterns. I mean, and then even like the pearls on top are different colors to match like the barrel. Of but I kind of caved in and got this diary hole punch, also from Amazon. Do I will still use my one. Dollar, dollar, my dollar store hole punch, but um, it was kind of, I don't know, I didn't really like punching a whole bunch of pages, just six at a time, like one at a time for six times for each page, and it was just very time consuming. This, this takes up less time. I will still use that, the the dollar hole punch for other things, obviously. But David's Tees, David's Tees Autumn Collection, um, the fall collection, I mean. I tried Peanut Butter Cup, which is the one that I was most excited for. I tried it in store. I had it as a iced tea latte and it was so good. Next, um, is my Philo Fax sleeve. Um, this is from Rue Vogue shop. I think her shop is just called Rue Vogue on, on Etsy. This is the cutest, I'm going to take out my file of facts. Um, this is so cute. Like, um, I forget how much it was. I believe it might have been $15 with uh, an $18 plus ship. Like it was $15, but then it was with shipping, it was $18. But look how cute it is. And I also put like, I have a lot of band buttons. So I put, I know it's quite a, 
variety on here. 21 Pilots, Paramore, and then Nile and the One Direction thing that I, uh, for, I got from the recent tour. And then I went to uh, see Five Seconds of Summer on August 30th at um, PNC Bank Art Center. So I did get a few things because I said I wasn't going to get anything, but then I saw some... I saw the merch and I was like, darn it. <laughs> this sweatshirt, I, um, it's cute and I can't wait to wear it for the fall with like leather leggings. I don't know, I'm so excited. That's just the look I'm seeing with this. The tour is called Rock Out With Your Socks Out and so they did have these knee high, actually on me, they're thigh high socks because I'm kind of short. So they just say they're black and white um, and then they just say five soaps at the top. So yeah, that's it for my haul. Um, this is going to be a collective haul. That's the last one. <laughs> so yeah, bye.